Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. As per the latest news, the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy have recently inducted the new long-range supersonic air-to-ground missile, called the Rampage. This missile, developed by Elbit Systems of Israel, has been a key asset for the Israel Air Force since its introduction in June 2018. This supersonic long-range air-to-ground missile was designed to hit high-value targets, such as radar installations, communication centers, and weapons storage facilities from a safe distance. The Israeli Air Force first used the Rampage missile in April 2019, during an attack on a rocket production and storage facility in Masayaf, Syria. This facility was protected by advanced air defense systems like the S-300 and S-400, which are designed to detect and destroy incoming missiles and aircraft. Despite these defenses, the Rampage missile successfully hit its target, showing its ability to penetrate heavily guarded areas. The missile's successful use by the Israel has significant implications for its adoption by the Indian Air Force. Today, we will delve deeper into the unique advantages of the Rampage missile and how it compares to other long-range systems in the IAF's arsenal. Let's understand first what a supersonic missile is and why it is so important in modern warfare. A supersonic missile is a type of missile that travels faster than the speed of sound, which is about 343 meters per second or 1,235 kilometers per hour in air. Their high speed makes them difficult to detect and intercept. This means they can reach their targets quickly, reducing the time available for enemy defenses to respond. The speed of these missiles increases their kinetic energy. This makes them more effective at penetrating defenses and causing significant damage to heavily fortified structures. In today's warfare, they help ensure that military forces can strike swiftly and effectively, maintaining a tactical edge over adversaries who might have slower or less advanced weapon systems. Now, let's talk about the Rampage, the missile originally recognized as the high-speed low drag Mark II, which means the missile is designed to be fast and efficient, able to travel quickly to its target with minimal resistance from the air. The missile measures 4.7 meters in length and has a diameter of 306 millimeters. The missile weighs approximately 570 kilograms, designed for high-value target engagement. It uses a solid propellant rocket engine. This type of engine works by burning a solid fuel to produce thrust. The solid fuel is stored inside the missile, and when ignited, it burns very quickly, creating hot gases that are expelled out of the back of the missile. This action pushes the missile forward at high speed, similar to how a balloon moves forward when you let the air out. Because the fuel is solid, it is stable and easy to store. This makes the missile ready to launch quickly without needing complex preparation. Regarding guidance system, the Rampage missile uses a sophisticated GPS, INS guidance system to find and hit its target. The GPS stands for Global Positioning System, uses signals from satellites to determine the missile's exact location. This helps the missile stay on the correct path toward its target. The INS stands for Inertial Navigation System, uses internal sensors to measure the missile's movement and direction. This system keeps the missile on course even if the GPS signal is weak or jammed. The combination of GPS and INS makes the missile very accurate, ensuring it can hit targets precisely. Second, it allows the missile to work in all weather conditions, day or night, because it doesn't rely on visual input. Additionally, the missile is equipped with anti-jamming capabilities, meaning it is reliable even in environments where enemies might try to disrupt its navigation. Missile operates on a fire and forget principle, means that once the missile is launched, it does not need any further guidance or control from the operator. After launch, the missile uses its own internal guidance system to find and hit the target. It allows the pilot or operator to move away or focus on other tasks immediately after launching the missile, without having to stay exposed to enemy defenses. The Rampage missile carries a special type of warhead called a multi-purpose explosively formed projectile warhead. An EFP warhead is designed to create a powerful explosion that forms a high-speed metal projectile. When the warhead explodes, it pushes the metal into a particular shape, often like a long rod or a disc, which then flies at high speed towards the target. The weight of the warhead is approximately 150 kilograms, contributing to the missile's overall weight of 570 kilograms. The missile has an operational range of 150 to 250 kilometers, allowing it to engage targets from a safe distance, minimizing risk to the launch aircraft. It can reach a maximum speed of 550 meters per second, which translates to approximately Mach 1.6, making it a supersonic weapon. 
The Rampage has been successfully integrated into the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy's fleet, showcasing its compatibility with existing aircraft. The IAF has equipped its Su-30 MKI, MiG-29, and Jaguar fighter jets with the Rampage, while the Indian Navy has incorporated it into their MiG-29K naval fighter jets. This integration process has been smooth due to the missile's design, which aligns well with the systems of these Russian-origin aircraft. The Rampage is designed to operate effectively in all weather conditions. This capability ensures that it can be deployed regardless of environmental factors, maintaining its operational readiness at all times. Furthermore, it has the potential for target updates after launch due to its two-way datalink capability. This advanced feature allows for real-time adjustments to the missile's flight path, enabling it to engage moving or newly identified targets while in flight. The Rampage missile complements India's existing arsenal by providing a unique set of advantages over other long-range systems such as the BrahMos supersonic missile and the SPICE 2000 guided bomb. The BrahMos missile, developed jointly by India and Russia, is known for its high speed and versatility. The BrahMos heavier payload and kinetic energy make it suitable for larger, fortified targets, whereas the Rampage's fire-and-forget capability and lower cost per unit provide operational flexibility and cost effectiveness. On the other hand, the SPICE 2000, used in the Balakot air strikes, is an Israeli-developed precision-guided munition that converts unguided bombs into guided bombs using advanced EO GPS guidance systems. It has a range of up to 100 kilometers and is designed for high-precision strikes with minimal collateral damage. The Rampage missile extends this range to 250 kilometers, offering a significant increase in operational reach. Additionally, the Rampage can be launched in all weather conditions and has the potential for mid-course target updates via two-way datalink, providing a tactical advantage over the SPICE 2000. In conclusion, the Rampage missile stands out as a vital addition to India's defense capabilities. By bridging the gap between the BrahMos high-speed strikes and the SPICE 2000's precision, the Rampage missile enhances the Indian Air Force's operational efficiency. This advancement not only strengthens India's aerial warfare capabilities but also ensures that the nation remains prepared and resilient in the face of modern defense challenges. Thank you for joining us in exploring the India's new Rampage missile. If you found this video insightful, do hit the like button, share, and subscribe for more military tech insights. Your support fuels our content. Until the next video, stay curious and keep exploring.